All right, welcome back, Top Flater folks. Jeff and the OG out here today bringing you some tool time. Hey, uh, Jeff has donated his Harbor Freight Crescent Wrench. We're going to try it versus a standard old one ounce Foster Slug available at Walmart and everywhere milk is sold. What will a Foster Slug do against a standard old Crescent Wrench? It's made in Pittsburgh, China. Yeah, it says right there, Pittsburgh, China. Yeah. So they're probably... I've beaten the heck out of that thing at work, you know. You can see right and there. And I really use it as a crescent wrench. I usually use it as a hammer or a pry bar or... It's it's really beat up, but it's Dentist. it really hasn't broke. I mean, it, it, it's not bad quality in really reality, but... Dentist tool? Yeah. I mean, a real mechanic doesn't use a crescent wrench, right? Sure. Like, I wouldn't that's, know anything about real mechanics. Oh, okay. Work, well, so. that's... And, and a real mechanic only uses Mac or Snap-on, you know. Right. They wouldn't not, be caught dead free. with a... With a Harbor Freight Not one. Harbor Freight. But, but for a beater tool that you don't care if it gets lost, they're okay. They're okay. That thing's I've, that thing's taken 10, 15 years of abuse, you know, and it still will, you know, you can loosen up a hydraulic fitting with it or whatever. So before we shoot it, put your comments below. Tell us, do you think it's going to destroy this thing or do you think this thing is going to prevail over the one ounce slug? You be the judge. You decide. Alright, Greg's aim was impeccable. He hit it right on the knurled knob. And that, of course, is the weakest part of the adjustable wrench. Well, this video is sort of a trial balloon to get viewers' ideas and see if this concept of shooting Harbor Freight tools, really cheap stuff, would be something you guys would be interested in seeing. So throw out some ideas for us if you're interested in seeing this. If you think it sucks, just say it sucks. That's fine and give us some ideas what we could shoot at and the best spot on that object to shoot at too. <laughs> we, found, it, we found this piece out on the ground away from the wrench and the dial shot right through. Foster slug essentially went right through the center there. Yeah, good shot. Yeah, I can't shoot. I don't know if anybody's ever told you that on a comment section. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen that a few times. We want to thank our Patreon or Patreon. I've heard so many different pronunciations of it. It's, it's hilarious. But we just broke 700. We are now at 710 patrons at the time of editing this video we want to thank each and every one of you guys even you guys that donated for a short period and you know cancel your donations and everything we still appreciate your support and we still recognize you and I do say this with sincerity if you can't afford to support us or you don't want to support us that's fine but consider supporting smaller channels especially the ones that no longer can monetize their videos. They may need your help to just produce videos, help them buy new gear and other supplies needed to make videos. Because even the small channels make a tremendous contribution to what we see on YouTube. And it's very important to have that kind of diversity 